My name is Hartwell Carson. I'm your French Broad River Keeper on the banks of the French Broad River. And we're, do, we're on day two of our 11-day paddle trip. And we're sitting right below a wastewater treatment plant and right across from an eroding stream bank. Two of our water quality threats. And we're here to tell you to clean up the French Broad River if we're out here. Hi, I'm Donna Lissenby. I'm the Watauga Riverkeeper, and I'm here today on the French Broad River, paddling with the French Broad Riverkeeper and the Western North Carolina Alliance crew. We're doing sampling of water sediment and fish uh, below Progress Energy's coal ash ponds because all North Carolina's coal ash ponds are leaking heavy metals into groundwater. And uh, we just wanted to say a shout out to everybody at Clean Water Lobby Day and say how much we love North Carolina's beautiful waterways and how much we need to keep them clean pristine for future generations. You guys do a great job uh, at Lobby Day today and make sure that legislators work to protect our natural resources like these fantastic North Carolina rivers. Love you guys. Bye -bye. Oh hey, I'm Barnold or B. Arnold or Brian Arnold from Asheville, North Carolina. A lot of people like to say, not my river, not my problem, but this is my river and this is my problem and it should be your problem too if you're polluting in it, so don't pollute it and save the French Broad. Hey, uh, I'm Mark Hunt. I uh, live in Buncombe County. I'm out here on the French Broad River today enjoying the water. I encourage all our legislators and local elected officials to do whatever it takes to make sure water quality, both in rivers like this and upstream in the tributaries, is protected and kept clean. And that happens on lots of fronts from land use planning, infrastructure development, uh, sewage water treatment plants, storm water especially. So please be active on all of those fronts. My name is Jane, and I'm from Clyde, North Carolina, just west of Asheville. This is my first time paddling on the French Broad, and it is a beautiful, beautiful river. But one of the things I'm noticing is that it's very cloudy, and we have some fishermen on the trip who aren't having much luck. It would certainly be great if we could keep some of this erosion and the cattle that we saw in the river as we paddled by out so that we could preserve the water quality for the fishermen and for the river. Hey, I'm Debbie Whitmire, um, owner of Headwaters Outfitters. Um, we've been here on the forks of the river at mile zero of the French Broad for 18 years running uh, canoeing, kayaking, and tubing trips. And we have uh, put thousands and thousands of people down this beautiful river. And when we first started... Uh, My name is Kate Warner. I live in Black Mountain, North Carolina, and I've had a great time on the river today. I, um, I grew up paddling around on the French Broad and some other areas in North Carolina, so I would love for the river to be protected, and I'm really glad that it's, been, it's happened. Hey, I'm Thomas Jay. I'm from Asheville and Save the French Hi, my name is Jamie Wine and I'm from Asheville, North Carolina. As you may be aware of, water quality here in North Carolina desperately needs attention. We are facing such issues as bacterial contamination, sulfates, nitrates, and other chemicals, and even uh, our local stream, the 303, um, uh, the Mills River has been placed on the 303D list, and uh, this is unacceptable. You know, the EPA has been uh, um, trying to find solutions to this, and uh, local agencies have been trying to find solutions to this. We need answers, and we need them now. So please, please, do what you can to protect our water quality in North Carolina. Hi, I'm Phil Martin. Um, I'm from Candler, North Carolina. I'm standing right here on the French Broad River. It's one of my favorite rivers uh, to fish. It's loaded with smallmouth bass, and I hope that we can keep these rivers clean because I have a five-year-old that loves to fish and I love to take him out and wish he was with me today um, but if we don't protect our rivers we won't have any fish for the younger generation to come along and catch either so let's take care of our water water.